Hello everyone and welcome to the Cottage Club. We were lucky enough to spend one month at the Cottage Club and this place is just beautiful. Look at the views everywhere. And we were super lucky because our neighbors were musicians and we got to enjoy the beautiful music when they were practicing for their concerts. And today we have a special treat for you because we have an interview with these musicians. So follow us, The Adventures of CNC. Don't forget, if you like our videos, to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So let me take you on a tour of the inside of the Cottage Club. This is the lobby. The lobby is simply beautiful. Look how pretty it is inside. Look at the chandelier. And look at this desk. And here is Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi. Mark is such a good manager. Everything we've asked for, Mark was like Johnny on the spot. He has helped us out. For the month we were here. Thank you so much, Mark. <laughs> so let me take you on a tour. Look at this desk. This desk is just amazing. Let me take you on a tour of the Cottage Club. So here is the view of the majestic Mount scenery. And here are all the cottages. There are 10 cottages. Two, two join onto each other. The grounds are so pristine. They're absolutely beautiful. They do such a nice job taking care of the grounds. And look at this view as you walk down. You can see on a clear day, you can see St. Martin in the distance and St. Bart. And we have the cottage right down there. So we got in some good shape walking up and down these hills while we were here as well. And yeah, let me take you over to the pool. The pool is just beautiful. Here is the wonderful Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth, who has kept our room so nice and tidy and clean. Thank you. And look at this pool area. You can hear the birds, so if you follow my travels, you will see that this was one of my favorite spots to come out in the morning and sit with my tea. So gorgeous. And the views from here are just spectacular. There's also a resident iguana who lives around here. You could see the plane, the end of the airport, the plane leaving. Look at this mountain view. This place is just amazing. So Mark Johnson is the owner and the manager is also a Mark. Everyone is super helpful, great people, and we have enjoyed our stay here immensely. And we hope to be back next year. So now let me take you down to our cottage. Look how pretty the grounds are. Look at this flower. I had never seen this before. The leaves are like velvet. So beautiful. And this is our room, has been our room for one month. I could look out and see the house where I was born and raised. Every day I could look at that. So this has been a super special experience. We've met some really nice people down here. And as always, we're sad to leave, but now we're moving on to the next adventure. This is room one at the Cottage Club. We have stayed at the Cottage Club for one month and we love it. It's very spacious. I have a full kitchen. The kids were able to stay with us. They had their own little rollaway beds. We have a big king size bed. Nice bath. 
with a view of course of the ocean so we really really have enjoyed the cottage club and wait for it so our bed opens up to this view this is our bedroom door this is our balcony we have the outside furniture and we look at this beautiful view from the majestic mount scenery down to the ocean we highly recommend the cottage club I have a little friend going swimming with me. He's quite a big friend, actually. Lord, I thank you for sunshine. Thank you for rain. Thank you for joy. Thank you for pain. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Lord, I thank you for sunshine. Thank you for rain. Thank you for joy. Hello everyone, this is Cheryl and today I have the pleasure of sitting with Julian and Elvira, two wonderful musicians that Seba has had the pleasure of experiencing and we are going to ask them to share their story so that the people that have heard their music can learn a little bit more about them. Mira, it's been such a pleasure having you in Seba. I've heard so many good comments about you guys and your music. So we would like you to share a little bit of your background story and you know where you came from and when you started in music. Who would like to go first? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, first of all it's been also really, really nice to, to meet you and to be here and we yeah, really enjoyed playing here. Um, and I started playing violin when I was really small, when I was five. And I was inspired by my father, actually, who is a violinist. Ah. So I heard him. I remember that really well, that I heard him and then I saw him coming up the stairs with his violin case on his back. And for some reason, I thought that was really cool. <laughs> and I really wanted that. So I had been asking for a while and then I started when I was, when I was five. And I've been playing ever since. I'm 30 now, so it's been a while. And I moved to Berlin to study music, to study violin. When I was 19, and that's where I'm still based now. Wow, I love it. Where you guys met in Berlin? That's where we met, yeah, exactly. I came, I went to Berlin to do a master's in, in oboe playing, and that's where we met for the first time. Yeah. So, can you tell us a little bit where you sure, yeah. started um, music? And... My name's Julian, I'm from Edinburgh in Scotland, and I came from a kind of musical background. Uh, my mum was very involved with music and taught uh, me and my siblings the recorder when we were very young and then helped us with our you know piano lessons and everything we did uh, thereafter i'm the only one of the three of us who carried on uh, kind of professionally i guess with music um, so i started when i was four years old uh, along with my sister we had lessons together um, and there's some quite funny videos of us playing when we were very young and her telling me what to do and stuff like that. She was quite bossy. <laughs> um, so that's how I started, yeah, and then I played all the way through school and went to university in Oxford, England to study musicology and then decided I wanted to play. So I went to do a master's in Berlin, uh, just in the oboe, so just playing oboe. And yeah, that's that's kind of my yes, background. Sorry. Yeah.
nice having a profession that you really enjoy doing and that you were able to start from so young. Uh, That's that sounds really rewarding. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't really feel like a job. Sometimes. Right. Yeah. yeah. It can be really hard. It's not always easy just because we I'm like sure. it. It doesn't it's, mean it's always yeah. easy, but yeah. it doesn't, it feels like uh, it's so close to us that it's just yeah. part of our lives. So. That, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Can you share with us like one thing that you're really proud of in your music yeah. life? So I've um, had some kind of injury in my left hand that started when I was studying in Berlin. And, um, and for a long time I didn't know what it was and I just felt really uncomfortable and felt like it wasn't working like it should. And then I had to stop performing for about three years to do a, a therapy and do lots of exercises every day. And, and looking back, so I've only started playing again maybe two years ago now, not even. Yeah, not even, yeah. So looking back, I'm quite proud of myself for not giving up and yeah. for just for keeping going and um, even now this week or last week we gave a, a concert here right. which is something I hadn't done in this kind of format that I'm also playing like solo parts and playing kind of a bigger role I hadn't done in so many years uh, so I'm quite at that moment and also looking back I'm really proud that we did that and that it was really fun and yeah. um, so yeah and so many people enjoyed it yeah, yeah exactly and to get such positive feedback and yeah, yeah so I'm, I'm proud of that yeah that's wonderful how about you Julia would you like to share yeah I guess I'm proud of the fact that I moved abroad to study, maybe. It wasn't really what a lot of my peers were doing and um, was kind of maybe a bold move or I felt like it was a bit of a bold move at the time to kind of go to that unknown. And But um, in the end it really worked out very well for me and opened lots of different doors and you know we still live in Berlin now actually of course we met in Berlin as well and just to have those connections in different countries is I think for me has been really important um, a lot of the people I studied with just stayed in England and then you know went to do a masters in in London that's kind of the normal route and oh. I just feel proud of the fact that I you know, decided not to do that, even though that was kind of the normal thing and uh, that it worked out so well, yeah. You stepped out of your box. <laughs> yeah, I guess, Good for yeah. you. And can you guys share with us how you found Sabre, how you got to this place that nobody's ever heard of? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think you should explain the connection. <laughs> yeah. So I'm from the Netherlands, which I forgot to say earlier. So of course, this being a Dutch Caribbean, there is some connection there and my brother moved here about two years ago, not quite. Um, and he is a lawyer on the island. He also plays the guitar beautifully. Um, and so actually last year we went on a tour for music to North America and we combined it with a trip to Seba. So we came here for like 10 days and really liked it. And then we actually then went to the school to, to present our instruments to the small kids just you know to get them to see something different and, right. and we played for them and then we met some people who said hey but why don't you come and teach and you know so then uh, of course we couldn't just stay and teach so um, we went home and then this year through Child Focus it was organized that we can come and teach um, different a couple different instruments to to children and of course I got to see my brother so it's been that's been really a nice combination of, of things yeah. for us. Yeah, that's wonderful. Do you think you guys will come back next year? Well, yeah. we've been talking about it. Yeah, I mean, of course, we would love to if the opportunity presents itself. Yeah, right. So yeah. hopefully, hopefully, yeah. yeah. Well, it's been really good for the children, and I know mm. firsthand because my little Sophie is <laughs> then. <laughs> Yeah. And we have had the privilege of hearing you play more than in your concert because we are your neighbors in the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> and we have we get 
to hear this pleasant music yeah. and oh, we are going to miss it when you leave it. Oh, <laughs> so it's been really, really wonderful and I'm sure that Seba people want to thank you because I heard so many positive things mm -hmm. from your concert and we will share snippets from yes. your concert in the videos. So we'd yeah. like to do that and we thank you so much for taking the time to share your story You're with welcome. us. Yeah. And maybe thank we'll you. see you next year. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yes, fingers crossed. <laughs> thank you.